start out? You want to start? I'll start. Uh, or we can continue with the music. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Weekly Flair episode 17. I am one of your hosts, James Walter, and with me, as always, Mr. Chris Garcia. What's going on, James? What's up? It's had an awesome week, Chris. You know why? <laughs> why is that? Because the Avengers came out this weekend, and so we're going to talk about that later on. Also, TechCrunch had this huge event in New York, so we're going to talk about some of the startups that were there showing off their technology. And also, because IGN has been covering Rock Band this week, and they're going to be covering it all month, so we're going to have a ton of Rock Band news to talk about. All the stuff to go over. It's going to be awesome. Do you, want, do you know why else it's been a very good week? Why else? Well, apparently Coke is now released again. That's labels. right. The uh, names, names and the labels on the Coke. bottles have returned. I have mine, share a Coke with James. And now we have share a Coke with Chris, so we can match on both sides. We've been talking about doing that for and a, it a while. It's going to be awesome. So now we can display them on the table. We can display them back here. We can display them everywhere. I don't think you want to crack yours open, though. No, I've had mine since last summer. <laughs> That's no good. I don't think I want to do that. Mine's fresh. Came out of the fridge today. It's brand new. Anything else happened this week? I went to the beach on Saturday. How'd that go? Uh, it was good. I mean, the waves were pretty terrible. The, the tide just wasn't cooperating. But the beach was good. We stopped by this little restaurant, and I got this uh, tuna sandwich. That was a sashimi grade tuna, so it's basically just a slab of tuna. They seared on both sides, threw it on a croissant. It was delicious. Good. Yes. The, what, uh, which beach did you guys go to? Um, Oak Island, or Oak oh, Isle, or whatever Oak it's called, Tolls, something yeah. like that. It was good. It's good. Yeah, I haven't been over there yet. No. I'm used it, to the other beaches, Bertle or Mutant it's right by um, what is it? Uh, Southport. Did you guys stay down there? Like that. No, it's straight down for the day. Oh, so you guys were only like an hour away, maybe 45 minutes away from Wilmington. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's right by Wilmington. That's not bad. We, we stopped at Bricks in Wilmington on the way back, got Ooh, some pizza. Good. Love Bricks. Good pizza. Delicious wood-fired pizza. Good every time. They had a s'mores dessert pizza that we had. It was pretty good. Oof. It was like a, it's just like the bread with uh, graham cracker and marshmallows and chocolate. But since it's wood-fired pizza, it, the marshmallows tasted like they were cooked over a oh, fire. Wow. So they were just delicious. But anyways, we're not here to talk about food. No. We're here to talk about news and technology and rock band. Definitely. So let's get started. What All do you right. got? We got a first story. It's actually a pretty good story. Um, James, what did we, what is in these bottles right now? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Probably the best brand out there. The best soda in the world. Yeah. Unless I feel like a root beer and then I get A&W. I agree with that. Aged vanilla. You know what else they can also find in bottles that are 40 years old found in the ocean? Um, I think it was a police song. Yes. Message in a bottle. That was the police, right? Yes, it was. Or was it Sting or the police? No, I believe it was I the police. I think it was the police. What is that from Guitar Hero 2? Well, it was from their album. But yes. But they, the way I heard it was from Guitar Hero. I'll day. send an SOS to the world. Yeah, that was that was a good song. I'm gonna go listen to that song after the podcast. But we did find so someone did. Someone found a message in a bottle, a real live message in a bottle, which happens from time to time. From 1975. Well, that's pretty old. 40 years later, exactly 40 years later. Wait, exactly to the day? Well, this is a scam. <clears throat> it's hard to say. Okay, what did the message say? Uh, honestly, I does not say. Scam. Who knows what it says? Who, knew, who knows what it says? Who found it? Uh, looks like it was from a lady who found it. She reported to Fox Q13 this week. Um, I don't think it said even says her name. Did it? Did it match her handwriting? I would hope not. Actually, it's did Mickey. they test it to make sure? I think they did. Mickey and Surly, her dog, walked east. Uh, walked east. When we met back in the plane, she had the bottle. I guess it was her husband, too, blocked with her. Some sort. This is a confusing story. I don't think they wrote it very well. But they did find this bottle. Uh, and I think they found it. They, they found the original owner. Now, they said that they uh, were exploring a remote beach on the Gulf of Alaska near Kayak Island. Yeah. Along the state's southern coast. And uh, look for debris 
uh, from the Japanese tsunami. Remember when that happened? The one that like knocked out the nuclear reactors? Yeah. The, the recent one? Yeah. How was a 40 year old message in a bottle? Well, I guess they're trying to find the debris, maybe something washed up from those. Oh, it washed I up mean, in yeah. the debris. I know in California they were talking about, oh my gosh, we're gonna get these massive waves and we have to evacuate people from like a mile in from the coastline or something like that, but they were afraid and it didn't, mm -hmm. it didn't do anything. It did nothing. No, it didn't it do nothing. It was terrible. I, I bet surfers were pretty excited to hit out those waves, though. Yeah, surfers love when disasters come because they like the big waves. Definitely. So, short story, but hey, maybe we should do that. Maybe the police sent the message in a bottle. Maybe. When did that song come out? The 80s. Oh, so it wasn't the police then. Mm -hmm. Had it in the 80s. Okay. Maybe the 70s, maybe late 70s, early 80s. But I think we should probably do a message in a bottle, James. I think we should do a uh, time capsule. We should do a time capsule, but we need to put it somewhere. And we'll put you in it. And then in 50 years, you can pop out and be like, I'm a hipster! What was it, Idiocracy that did that? Uh, I don't know. I thought I was being original. No, Idiocracy is a great movie. It shows you, never mind. Just go watch it. It's not a spoiler, but I'm not going to mention anything on that. Great movie. I'll talk to you about it later. Okay. But is that with Ben Stein? Might be. I, could, I don't remember. I thought I was being original. We should bury it one. It just goes to show there's nothing original under the sun. We need to bury one somewhere. Okay. Um, Pleasant Ridge Road. Yes, where they're doing a ton of construction right now. Yes. We'll think of something. We'll think of something. Yes. We'll put your tablet in it. But we, we need a tablet. Well, okay, then we'll put... Let's put... I'll go buy some extra Amiibo that I'm not displaying. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll put those in there. And we'll put the cokes with names on there. Yes. After this, because you know that will never happen again. No. After this podcast disintegrates, we'll put all of our podcasting, stuff. all of our clips in there from the internet because they're all in the cloud. Definitely. And they'll rain down. Oh, that's not how the cloud works. No. All right. What else do you have, Chris? But here's kind of a sad story, but it develops into a great story. So, am I happy or sad? Um, I'm sad. Well, how much? Why don't you tell, ah! me, why don't you tell me which one it makes you feel? So we got Sue Ellen Monaghan. Why do I always pick the stories? You pick the stories and names. names you can never say. <laughs> uh, lost her 25-year-old son, Tim Connolly. Connolly. Uh, last year after he hit his head while working at Home Depot. His sudden death was devastating for uh, Ma Monaghan, who, uh, who called her son the love of her life. Uh, let's see here. With a grieving mom recently received a priceless gift, apparently... He was a donor, and uh, he donated his heart. Now, uh, this young man was given, uh, gave his heart uh, after he died, 52-year-old John Claflin, uh, his own, his heart. It was a heart transplant. So, um, Claflin was diagnosed with congestive heart failure in 2012, and his wife told the Portland Press uh, he had literally been in an emergency room uh, when they were told that a heart donor had been found. Uh, so, wait. So, the guy, they took a heart out of someone who was dead mm -hmm. and put it in someone else? Yes. I believe that something like this needs to happen within 24 hours. So, he was an organ donor. Yes. And he gave his heart. Yes. To a dude. Yes. After he died. He didn't. He didn't give it directly. He didn't say, here you go. Well, he was dead. Yes. But he did when he said, I want to be an organ donor. Yes. So, he gave his heart to a dude mm -hmm. and they took it out of him. After he was dead, mm -hmm. and put it in another guy. Yes, and that dude's walking around now with his heart. Yes, that's amazing. And I mean, it's not amazing that he died. That sucks. Yes, but it's amazing yeah. that they can take a heart out of somebody Definitely. and put it in someone else, and it will keep pumping. Well, here's the funny thing. Not funny. The great story. The great thing about the story is, Monaghan got to hear her son's heart in another man. That sounds like a very creepy thing. It actually, that headline. Yeah. The headline for this story is very creepy. That makes it very It makes sound. it sound like he ate him yeah. alive. It's really the way the headline read. This is that's like this is like the story we read where they uh, a guy gave uh, donated a girl his kidney. And yeah, and they then they got, like, married. got married. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want a movie like this, we have John Q. If you've ever seen John Q with Denzel Washington. No. Nope. John Q, it's a great movie. Watch it. Came out back in the nineties. You know what I think we should do? What's that? We should make a movie. Where a guy actually eats somebody and he's still alive inside his stomach. That would be weird. 
There's there's actually um, I don't want to talk about that on the podcast. It's too disgusting. I, I don't know if you want to go into that. It's it's not. Uh, it's gross. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Okay. It, it's pretty gross. It's true though. It, it can't happen. Well, mm-hmm. while we're on the good news and before the break. Rock Band 4, Chris. Yes. You know Rock Band 4 is coming out. Yes. We're going to have to put a guitar you know, up here. You know I love Rock Band. Yes. You know I have Rock Band 1. Actually, I have two copies of Rock Band 1 mm-hmm. because I bought two bundles because I wanted two guitars and I wanted an extra drum set because I figured the first round of them would probably be pretty uh, easily damaged, mm-hmm. which I was right. So it's a good thing I got two of them. Expensive, but right. Um, and then I got Rock Band 2. And then I bought the Ion drum kit when that came out for Rock Band. Actually, technically my dad bought that because he was going to start drumming with Rock Band and he kind of was like, here, have this. So I got that. I got Rock Band 3 with the keyboard when that came out. I got the Pro Fender guitar that they made with the actual real strings and the MIDI adapter. Um, And then Rock Band died away because, oh, and then I have like a ton of downloaded songs. Mm -hmm. And then in between all that time, oh, and I have Rock Band ACDC. Whoa, I have a lot of rock bands. You don't have the Beatles? You don't I have... didn't buy the Beatles or Green Day because I don't... I, they're okay, but I just... I didn't, if yeah, they were DLC packs, it. I may have just picked out the songs I like. But, eh, whatever. Um, and then Guitar Hero in that same time released a bunch of Guitar Hero games. The market got oversaturated. Music games went away. And then Rock Band 4 announced they're coming back. Guitar Hero is bringing back with Guitar Hero Live that has a completely different guitar controller. Um, you won't be able to bring any of your old DLC in. But Rock Band's like, we're bringing back all your old instruments, all your old DLC. We're coming out with new instruments. Uh, the guitar, it's the same guitar, basically just been updated so that it works better. The drums are basically the Beatles Rock Band drums, just they work better. But the vocals, let me tell you about the vocals that are updating. So you know how in Rock Band, it's like a karaoke machine if yes. you're singing? And you have to pretty much match the pitch exactly yes. or up or down an octave. Well, no more. Say goodbye to having to match it exactly. Okay. Now, you can sing karaoke style, match it exactly. The game will score you. Great job. It'll have the harmony parts just like before. You can sing the harmonies. Great job. Or, or, you can sing your own melody or harmony. And as long as it's in key, it'll give you a different score called improv score, apparently. That will just score you for being in key, making up your own melody or harmony. Wow. Yeah. This is new. I, this is insane. This is insane. This, I guitar, love Rock Band. Rock Band is coming out with some things. I guess Guitar Hero is coming out with some things that are not as good as Rock Band, but now Rock Band is... The Guitar exploded. Hero set list that's been announced so far is not... Doesn't make you think Guitar Hero. No. It's like pop music hero. But I don't see where the guitar part is in it. But that's beside the point. The point is, Harmonix, who makes Rock Band, they're back independent again, which means MTV no longer is telling them what to do. Which is kind of sad, because MTV has the best music licensing deals available. Mm -hmm. But it's good for the game, because they can actually work on the parts they want to work on. And uh, they're all in bands. And I think the one thing that they really wanted to work on is making the vocals better. And so they have a new microphone that has better gain on it, so you can sing softer and it'll still hear you. It has a better um, uh, threshold, so it won't distort as easily. And you can make up your own melodies and harmonies now. Wow. So, Next thing that they're going to be releasing is, remember that camera that they came out with Xbox 360? What is it? What the Kinect. The Kinect. Yeah. They're probably going to start adding style points. Man, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Play the I got the style the points. You know why I got the style points? Because I play guitar and sing at the same time. Oof. I got it down. Man, I've been that, doing that since Rock Band 1. That should be something. That's that, the ultimate challenge. That should be a it's challenge. It's really not. It's, it's, I mean, it's hard, but it's not as hard as... Difficult. It's difficult. Play the guitar behind your head. Um, spin the guitar around your back. you got to do a drum solo and then throw your stick up in the yes. air and catch it. No, I yes. hope they do not do connect integration, though, in all seriousness. Um, but also in all seriousness, I'm super excited about Rock Band now. And I will be happy to pull back out my Xbox One, import over all my songs, and pretty much have my Xbox One on all the time. Because I love Rock Band. Are you going to be in line to be the first one to get it? Um, I will definitely have it pre-ordered. I won't go pick it up at midnight probably, because now that I'm in an apartment, I can't really play Rock Band at midnight. So, 
it'll probably just wait until the next day and I'll get it after work. But Or take the day off. Or take the day off. That's a good idea. <laughs> All right. So we're going to take a quick break. And then when we get back, we're going to talk about some tech crunch news because some awesome stuff happened over the week of them doing their event. We're going to briefly talk about my opinions on the Avengers 2. No spoilers because Chris hasn't seen it. It's only been out a week and I don't play the spoiler game like that. And then we're going to um, turn the tables on Chris and see how well he does with his own little quiz. Not the one he gave me last week, a new one. So don't go away. We'll be right back. 